Quackers come out. Quackers you have to people are waiting. Just, just don't laugh, okay? Just don't laugh. <laughs> LMAO, what the hell look, happened, you ugly look, prick? All I know is I woke up like this. My room smelt of fraudulence. I heard someone saying, ya, ya, ya. I'm such a genius in the background. I don't know what happened, okay? I don't. Just leave me alone, okay? I'm, I'm vulnerable right now. I've got games to manage, I've got TV appearances to make, and I look like this. I look like a bloody egg. No one who looks like an egg has ever been good at football management or football games in general. Ha ha ha, another classic bit, my game. Of course. Just bye. Okay. What is good people and welcome back to QTV with me the QT himself. First of all I just want to make an explanation on players like Pablo Moro, Mohamed El Nenny, Rob Holding. I can't sell the whole squad so unfortunately you know some of them are going to have to stay. But we found a lad called Fagan and we ain't talking Oliver Twist who looks a bit decent in our youth academy. Gonna change his position again but I also want to ask you boys. Do you want me to set up a youth scout this month? I know youth players, they can be a bit 50-50, so I want you lot to let me know. Some bad news though, we we did have to sell Sied Klasinac. There's He gets paid 100 grand a week and he's literally just Urza's bodyguard. There's just really no point to keep him around. But boys, have I got a show for you. Arsenal Football Club, the greatest team in London history versus some rent boys from the West and I found this out before you might be surprised and some of you, I'm not going to judge, may be disappointed but rent boys, they tend to not like it up them. So we're going to go to Chelsea, we're going to get physical, we're going to get rough and we're going to let them know we are going to keep on coming. The Tifo she got so much worse this year, didn't they? As you can see, <laughs> they added mascots to the game. <laughs> and they just look so stupid. I'm so, it's, it, it's a cool addition, I get immersion and stuff, but they just look so stupid. Their heads are so big. And their necks, <laughs> their necks are tiny and their heads are massive. But Patrick Bamford spins his man and lets Eduard Mendy know he is going to be in for a game. Oh my god, he looks so bad. In for a game early. My hair may have disappeared, but my tactical ingenuity and genius surely hasn't. Tierney down the wing. Quick one-two of Bakayo. And... What can you say, boys? Arsenal won Chelsea nil. I'm already at least a little less fraudulent than Mikel Lego Herr Arteta. Martin Erdogan with the bullet header. Eduard Mendy, a typical rent boy with weak, limp wrists. 1-0 to the good boys. The boys in blue are going to be calling for the other boys in blue. This ain't going to look like the female protesters in London this time because there will be no brutality unless... You are uh, the god this is all right. Shit break. But lad, you can already see we are up for this. Arsenal out for Arsenal out for blood and rams, they're out for even more. What a save from the lanky Stoke on Trent citizen. The shit housing has commenced and the absolute bravery and heroism this looks like a marvel film those boys flying like superheroes and saving the day like one two kieran tierney and gabriel or batman and superman i ain't gonna be the one to decide zayich though whips the corner in but unsurprisingly timo werner misses because timo touch for tyrant werner is absolutely dog shit zayich for another one though and here's rudiger who also misses because you're like antonio rudiger is absolutely dog shit, but they did come forward. 
and grab a goal, but they made themselves the absolute pricks in the process. Zajic offside, buzzing for about five seconds before the linesman made him look a bit flaccid. Clearly offside. Zajic, you waste man, learn to watch a line. Chelsea though, they have been dominating. 70 minutes on the clock, only 20 minutes to hold on. But it's looking like it may be a struggle for everyone not named Aaron Ramsdale. The absolute king with another breathtaking 1v1 save. Timo Werner. The <laughs> Timo Werner though, there to equalise in the 76th minute. And runs over to, I guess, what can only be described as the Lidl's own version of Thomas Tuchel. Chelsea won. Arsenal won. We really did start. We we stepped our foot clearly off of the gas. Chelsea stepped it up and we got punished for it. Late on in the game though. Still hope and still a little bit of football. It's the bird catcher. And he's going to be catching his hands tomorrow. Because you can't miss chances like that in the 90th minute. Lukaku now running through, but getting sent no nope. packing by Benny White. What a man. You know what? 1-1 one, one is still better. It is still, it's still better than what happened in real life. So, I'll take it. A lot of drama over my hair. Wasn't the ideal start to the weekend. But the boys, they, kept, they got their head down. They got their ass up and they got it done. We've got to be pleased with a 1 1 draw against a bang average Chelsea team who thought they'd be a bit cheeky. What do I have to say about this? Well, very simple. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! <laughs> Unsurprisingly, it got rejected. After his masterful performance of mind games and manipulation, do you truly think? You stand a chance against the bold Look, fraud. Yeah. You, you're right. You're right. It's going to be tough. He's done a lot. Not quite sure if it's all legal, sneaking into someone's house and shaving their head. I mean, I, I knew Pep liked out their mind games, but this... This was something. But, you know, the boys are ready. I'm ready. We're going to go and give them a game. We are going to get revenge for my haircut. It's going to be done out here. Thank you very much. You'll be... Get ready for Pep's Loser interview, yeah? Just get ready for it. Boys and girls, it is time for vengeance. As you can see, Pep Guardiola did come into my house in the middle of the night and shave my head. He turned me into a beta bald fraud. Unfortunately, as he is the alpha bald, bald fraud, it's going to be... T Why did they make Smith run so bad? He looks like a guy who literally just tries to pick up girls in the nightclub. Who earns like some really average wage. Speaking of average wages, it's going to feel like that for these prick defenders. Because I'm going to be fighting them all for that embarrassment. Raheem Sterling going through. And just frankly embarrassing our defence. But we had to come back quickly. Tierney in down the wing. But Alexander Sinchenko with the good block and typical fee for that somehow stays in. This game's dog shit. Erdegaard though with a little bit of magic but just can't get he just can't get his toe on the ball. But Tierney comes forward. It's Erdegaard. It's the Pamphy. The pig shagger has done it. If you don't get it, Tories, they shag pigs. Bamford is a Tory, and if you didn't know, this man turned down Harvard, he turned down Love Island, and he probably turned down your current wives, because every girl was going to be after him. The handsome lad with the bag, and promptly brings us level. Sterling stuck in a crevice he won't get out of. Wipe this pain! I hate my... I don't want to say the passing and dribbling on all is absolutely broken and pretty disgracefully bad, but the passing and dribbling on all difficulty is pretty broken and disgracefully bad. Mares now comes forward, finds De Bruyne through two players' legs, who finds Mares, who dummies it, who finds the option. No, I'm not doing a geometry puzzle. This is literally just all of the shit Man City do to break down my defence constantly as they play it through 50 players, get the rebound, and Laporte heads it in to make it 3-1. 
Two minutes after extra time was over. Fun. And then 4-1 on the 53rd minute. And then 4... No, no, because... F me, I guess. Trying to swear less, you know. I'm a grown man and all. Should have a better vocabulary than that. I'm an omnibenevolent god. Very omnipotent usually, but it seems like the ones who are all-powerful at the moment are Manchester City, as they are absolutely turning me around and doing me over backwards inside and out. They now play it forward off the miss. Fernando, who they re-signed for some goddamn reason, finds Jack Grealish, who takes it down on his chest, breaks his own ankle, breaks the defender's ankle whilst doing so. He clearly sacrificed both his and the defender's ankle for Vishnu for the goal. We did actually score again, which was great. But, you know, moving swiftly on. I think it would be fair to say Pep was... I don't think you can do that on a football pitch, lad. That's definitely going to get you a meeting with HR. But it's fair to say Pep was pretty excited about beating me. And I'm pretty depressed about the fact I just lost 5-2 and it's still better than what happened in real life. It's fun being an Arsenal fan. It's very fun. At least we have Saka. Saka's cool. He's kind of cute too. But yeah, Pep absolutely buzzing. That looks awfully close to a Nazi salute and EA should probably look into that but moving swiftly on we have an interview with the boss so let's see what he has to say about the game look so yeah. that went no, well look, listen to me I'm getting in contact with lawyers because this isn't on this man broke into my house and shaved my head. Not only that, he made fun of single fathers everywhere the interview before that. What the hell is he? Why is he like, why is he not in a therapy? Why is he not locked up? He's a bloody psycho. I'm not exaggerating. I literally turned around to my car today. He was standing behind my car staring at me and that bald fraud didn't blink. I am not the bald fraud. You need to change this headline. You've already said it once as well, so get some bloody imagination. He's the bald fraud. Bye. Obviously, after games like that, after struggles like that, we need reinforcements. And someone begged me to sign a guy called Mohamed Kudus. So I will, because as I already said, I'm very benevolent. I'm a very loving fella. I'm a very nice fella. What happens to him in a YouTube channel where players have been shot before? Granite Jack is currently missing. Haven't heard from him. I believe we're going to get a big update on Granite Jack's whereabouts in the next episode. Not, Still not entirely sure what's going on there. But, you know, your favourite player is Mohamed Kudis. Let's hope he stays safe and healthy throughout this entire series, you know? You might want to pray for him. Mohamed Kudis signed for 38 million now. 40 million still left in the bank and good news Abamyang agreed to take a pay cut so he will be staying and reinstated to the first team immediately down from that 350 grand to just 100k a week and as the transfer window closed you know it didn't close my bank account it got a little bit more full don't we all have a bit more money and won't you lot love the idea of 70 million, 70 million for you lads to spend come January. Burnt Leno, obviously out of the team. You cannot blame Aaron Ramsdale for the recent performances. If it wasn't for him, that Chelsea game may have looked... <laughs> Leno's development store too is great. If it wasn't for Ramsdale, the performance would have looked very, very average against Chelsea. Adiemi, you're going to be asking, why did I sign him after the transfer window? Well, without Europe, we're not going to have many games to play. We've got Balogun because we couldn't get a loan for him. We've got Bamiyang back now. We've got Martinelli and we've got Bamford. That's four players capable of playing striker. Without Europe, there just wasn't going to be much football for Adiemi. So I thought it was best if he stayed there for an extra six months. Then comes in, especially of Bamiyang only getting worse and worse with his old age. He's pension and he's can't quite hack it. But his pension ahead certainly can. Norwich 
in the absolute mud. 1-0 to the Arsenal. Many of you thought we may have been on the back foot after getting absolutely turned over by Man City. I say read them and weep because Bukayo Saka, the star boy, plucks it out of the air and plants it firmly in the bottom left. It looks nearly as beautiful as he does himself as Bruno G, the G stands for Gunner, makes it 3-0. Norwich absolutely dusted. Nothing can ruin my mood today because we are flying. We are looking absolutely outstanding. Thomas Party is getting caught on the ball and Zolis is making it 3-1. Most people may lose a bit of their bottle. They may get a little bit worried, but not me. Yeah. 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 But not me because I am Quackers TV. We look outstanding. Saka beautiful beautiful it works through ball from bruno gomez but saka as usual he can't really finish he looks a bit like a eunuch in a brothel but alba with the pace with the feet to the banffy and you don't let the man onto his left foot because you are going to be left eating dirt goalkeeper banffy makes it 4-1 wraps up the game and you know what we're not done yet thomas party brings the party and the ball to banffy's feet the tories are flying pigs are crying and your wife is probably ready to see mark to go upstairs and see her because when you see banford do a dance like that it can turn even the virgin mary on they did get a goal back but from then on simply put it was the mohammed Kuda's show. Rainbow flicking one, Smith Rowe to Martinelli to make it seven, and Mohamed Kudis, the pace, the legs, the energy, exactly why I did sign him, driving through, making the space for himself, and planting the ball in the bottom right. We had a goal difference to make up after that City game. I think it'd be fed. I think it'd be fed so we made it up. Norwich. I'd hate to be you right now and I hate myself for making that joke. But it's nice not being on the receiving end of the 8-2 defeat for once, I will not lie. Ultimate difficulty sure is something, eh? Boys and girls there, we will show you the league table because I know you lot are going to know how we are doing, but I am sorry to lovely you and leave you. You have been nothing but a delight of an audience. As you can see, our little brother Tottenham copying our exact goals against in goal difference. But for now, I hope you have an absolutely delightful day. Peace.